everyone, it's K-Chan again, and I wanted to do another Sims tier list since my Sims 4 one kind of went kind of well. And um, I especially wanted to do the Sims 3 because um, for the past two or three weeks I have been so invested in my save, Sims 3 safe game that um, I went back to it because... I was getting kind of bored with The Sims 4 and I hadn't played it for months, so I went back. And I've been honestly having the time of my life, so I thought why not let the next tier list be The Sims 3. And um, I have this uh, tier list up, and I want to say right now, I don't know why. In my personal opinion, I don't know why in the heck the most bottom tier is Katy Perry's Sweet Treats. I, for one, really like that pack. I don't understand the hate for this pack. I actually use a lot of the assets and the styles. I, I think it's cute. I mean, I like it. So... I am going to edit this. Wait, no. Don't want the bad one. Oh, oh wait. Go down there. I am going to edit this because we, we, in this, on, on this, on this channel, we are not going to, um, uh, Lord, I can't think. We are not going to snub Katy Perry. <laughs> okay? This is a Katy Perry stan account. Okay, so we're going to put this as horrible. Okay. Because, uh, no. I, I will not stand for this sweet treats of hate going on. Okay, so the, um, the uh, choices in this one, they got all the expansions and stuff packs and stuff. And I noticed they also have some worlds here so we're also going to rank the wor world so um all right so let's get started um sims 3 world adventures i'm going to make people a little bit angry but in my personal opinion the sims world adventures is my least fave expansion pack. I hardly ever go on vacation or on an adventure unless my story calls for it, which hardly ever. Or I, I go to all three worlds once to get the recipe books because in my Sims games, I like when... Um, when uh i like when my sims study cooking so i've got to have all the recipes i mean the worlds are nice and the features are nice but i just i don't buy the hype for this pack it's not really that fun ish it's okay but know if I want to put it in myth or bad. <laughs> I guess meh because it's not exactly bad. It, it's just, it, it doesn't, um, how do I say this? It doesn't entertain me as much. So we're just going to go ahead and put this in meh <laughs> and I'm going to shut my mouth. Okay. Ambitions. Let me tell you, when people ask what types of sim packs to get, or sim 3 packs to get, I always mention ambitions and generations because honestly, I can't play without them. So the Sims 3 ambitions is one of the best packs there is. There is just so 
much to do in this expansion pack. I mean, so much. I, I, it, it blows out of the water. It, it, it's amazing. So I'm going to put this in pristine because it's amazing. <laughs> and I can't play without it. All right, um, The Sims 3 Late Night. I don't get the hate for it. I, I actually like the going out to bars and stuff. And um, I know people say that the bars are really empty and there's not really many people, but I use mods and um, fixes to make it more lively. And let, and yeah. So I actually enjoy it. And I love that it brought vampires. I mean, I mean, they brought them in late night, but they expanded them in Supernatural, and I like it. So I, I'm going to put this as nice. I mean, it's nice, but it ain't, it's not perfect. <laughs> okay, going on. Sims 3 Generations. I am telling you as a family player simmer that plays families, the whole generation, like, I mean, making one sim, then making them get married or with somebody and have a kid, and, I mean, that's always what The Sims has been to me. I, I always love that they could have families, and, and it, it, when they came out with The Sims, three generations to me it was the perfect pack because this this gameplay is what i crave and it just breaks my heart in two that the sims 4 can't come out with something like they did with generations parenthood was in the right step and i love that pack but i mean just Nothing can come close to this amazing pack. It's my favorite. So, pristine. Up there. Perfect. <laughs> Alright. Pets. I enjoy pets in The Sims, but I'm not crazy about them. I like that I have the option that they're there, but I hardly ever... Sometimes I do, and I gotta be in a certain... I don't know mood to play or make pets. I mean, it's good, and I'm happy that we have the option, but it's okay, but I'm not really crazy, so it's nice, <laughs> but it, it isn't one of my favorites. <laughs> Showtime. I do not... I, I think... In the whole years I played Sims 3, I think I used the careers of the crew, the new careers that came out for the magician, the acrobat, the singer. I think I used um, them probably in all the years twice. Probably used acrobat once. <laughs> It's one of the bad Sims 3, and the whole Sim port thing, it, 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 but I mean, I like the uh, items and stuff it came with, but nothing really, nothing really wows me in this, to be honest, but, yeah. mm. And I don't, I, eh, I don't find the appeal, to be honest. And in my personal opinion, it's one of the weaker ones and bad. It's not horrible, but, eh. Sims 3 Supernatural is one of the good ones. We, at, can you believe that one time in the Sims history, we had an expansion that had, let's see, one, two, three, four, four, four occults. 
in an expansion and, and, and they're not divided up like it kind of is with The Sims 4. I don't know how we could go to four cults and then just having to buy each a cult and split them up. The Sim 3 Supernatural, I love the items, I love the life state, or the occult stages, I love the world, and I, it's awesome. So I'm putting this in the great. It's not my favorite, but it's amazing. Sims 3 Seasons. Uh, I don't really feel any yes or no way about it, but I love that it has actual festivals and somewhat of holidays that you actually get to do things. Like, sometimes kids even come over for Halloween or Spooky Fest or whatever they call, call it in The Sims. and I like that, but it's not my favorite, but I can't play without it. it I can't really explain. <laughs> I must have it, but I'm not head over heels. <laughs> so I'm just going to put this at nice. <laughs> okay. The Sims University. Is it University Life? I forgot what it is. Well, the Sims 3 University. I liked how we could even go to our own classes and actually interact with it for, for, for some of it. And I actually like that. I mean, a lot. But there's a lot of bugs in this, this expansion, I gotta be honest. But I like it, but <laughs> I don't think nothing will ever compare to how I feel University in The Sims 2. That is like one of my favorite packs in The Sims series. I, I just feel like it can't come close, in my opinion, to, to that. Now, The Sims 4 University, I actually enjoy that pack if you watch my other video. It's one of my favorites. And it did good, but the third and fourth, I mean, it just can't, I, I think I hold a candle to the second, or the Sims 2 University, and it, it's okay. I mean, I like it, but yeah, <laughs> I'm going to put this as nice. It's nice, but you know, <laughs> okay. Island Paradise. I hardly ever use the world. It is a beautiful world, but it was so buggy. It was bad. I mean, real bad. And I do love, I do love that we get to go actual scuba diving. I actually love that feature. I, I mean, it's amazing. And I will never, ever, ever forgive The Sims 4 team for m making the box or the render art of Island Living <laughs> look like you could actually scuba dive. I thought, oh my god, they went above and beyond and they're actually delivering on something. Uh-uh. All lies. <laughs> okay. okay. But I did like that. And, um, I liked it, but the bugs are what keep it back, in my opinion. So, I'm going to put a meh, because the gameplay, or the bugs, and the gameplay just didn't, it's not something I use, in other words. Okay, The Sims 3 Into the Future. I, again, do not understand the hate for this pack. It was actually something very unique coming to the Sims franchise. I actually love 
going to the future in my game. I actually love seeing what my Sims uh, descendants look like and actually play around in the future. I mean, I like it. I like that you can, if you wanted to, you could um, make it an apocalypse. Oh my god, I can't talk. Apocalypse. I can't. You know what I mean? A bad world. <laughs> like the apocalypse there we go the yeah or you could have a regular not bad not good world or you could have a utopia i like that part and that aspect so i'm going to put it in great okay i think now we're getting into the um worlds and um, the stuff packs and stuff. Okay, I just recently bought this, the Sims 3 High End Loft. I really, really love the items that came on this. I really liked it. Um, ain't much else to say. Honestly, these are going to go by quick because there's not really much to say in stuff packs, to be honest, but that, that's just me. But I do like the items that come in with the high loft um, uh, stuff pack. So I like it. So I'm putting in nice, <clears throat> fast lane stuff. I hate, I, I don't know why, but I hate when a sim roll, when a sim, like a townie or, or a game created sim, rolls the um, trait. I guess it's car enthusiast or car something that came with this pack. I, I, to me, this, this trait is useless to me, and I don't use it. Sometimes when I roll traits for my Sims I created, if it rolls that, I, I automatically take it away. I mean, I do like some of the hair that there's like a hair on a guy that's like this big pompadour whatever it's wild I do like that I like some of the hairstyles but it's me <laughs> that's all I can say it's me outdoor living I do love it, it's one of my favorite um, uh, stuff packs it was for the longest it was like my only stuff pack there's not really much to say. Like I say, these are going to go by quick because there's not really much to say. Um, so I'm going to put this in nice. I, I mean, I like it, but I mean... <laughs> Wait, what is that? I can't, I can't even tell. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can't even tell what this is. I'm going to put it to the side for a minute because I, I can't even... What? I'm an old lady. I need glasses. I, I can't tell. It's so tiny. Okay. Okay. Um, Master Sweet. My favorite... I, I know I said outdoor living was my favorite. Did I, did I say outdoor living was my favorite? Actually, it's Master Sweet. That's my favorite. I love, I use, I, oh my goodness. I use the hair all the time, the lingerie, and, and the, oh my gosh. I, I love it. It's pristine. That's <laughs> all I'm going to say. Okay. As I said earlier, I don't understand the hate for Katy Perry sweet treats. I actually use the items. I actually use the dresses. And I actually sometimes use the hair. Sometimes. I, I, do, I mean, I love this cute pink rainbow-like colors. I, I mean, I like that style, to be honest. And there's nothing wrong with it. So I'm gonna put great. <laughs> Cancel me. <laughs> no, you're not gonna you know. <laughs> All right. Um, wait, is that modern loft? What? Is there like a modern loft? Or is that town life? 
wait. Let, let me see, let me see, see. Uh, it is town life. <laughs> oh my god. I, what, what, what's going on with me? Is it because it's 12 a.m. <laughs> and I'm exhausted? But this is town life stuff. I recently bought this too, and it's all right. Um, I like the items, and um, nice. <laughs> what else can I say? I also bought recently some diesel stuff. Um, good. All right, it's nice. <laughs> I mean, we're we're just going through these so fast. <laughs> The Sims 3, 70s, 80s, and 90s. One of my favorites. I love this. I mean, I love the 80s and 90s fashion. Because I know I was born the tail end of the 80s. Tail end, early 90s. It's just around there. But I am an 80s girl at heart. I mean, I love... 80s music. I love the fashion, the timeline. I I always keep thinking I was actually born in the wrong era because I would have loved to have lived in the 80s or grew up in the 80s. So this is awesome. I love it. So it goes in great. Okay, the Sims movie stuff. It's okay, I guess. Uh, very unique type of items. I do like the um, western type items. We, we always need, in my opinion, more cowboy type items. And like the, um, the uh, bar made type dresses and stuff. Uh, it's alright, but nothing really sold me, I guess you could say. So it's meh. <laughs> oh my lord. Alright, we, we are burning through this today and ow, I hit my... Mm. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, we are going into the Sims Store Worlds. And I actually love some of these worlds. Um, Sims 3 Riverview. Love it. One of my favorite... Um... <laughs> I'm rubbing my fingers, making a weird noise. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Um, I like Riverview. And it isn't Riverview where um the teenage Bob and Betty newbie is at? Yeah, I think so. Um, great. Barnacle Bay. I have it. I, I, I used it once. Springs. Like Riverview, this is one of my favorite worlds. I love the um, Sims and the townies in that world. And I, I, it is, to me, it is a, a beautiful world. I it, Usually when I play store worlds, I usually go for Riverview, Hidden Springs, Lunar Lakes, Sunlit Tides, and Lucky Palms. So, yeah. I like it. It's great. <laughs> oh, this is this is going by fast. I mean fast. Um, Lunar Lakes. Love this um, world. Very colorful, in my opinion. And I, I, I great. Love it. Great. <laughs> um, Lucky Palms. One of my favorites. I love the casino system it came out and just the what is it? The 30s type era that the um it also came with the um the roller coasters and stuff like that. I loved it. And I use it a lot. I actually put a bunch of casinos in my custom made worlds to be honest. Great! <laughs> Moving on. Sunlit Tides. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love beach, beachy um, worlds. Like I say, uh, 
like, um, Island Paradise has the most, or I mean, it's one of the most beautiful towns, and, yeah, uh, and Sunlight Tides, another beautiful town I love, uh, just, yes, it's great. Monte Vista, I have it, I hardly go there. <laughs> uh, I do, I do, I do like the, um, items it came with, um, the pizza oven, and I think, um, what was that, a store set, the, um, restaurant, um, mm, oh, anyway, I mean, it, it's pretty, uh, I mean, I, uh, I love old Italy or Italy type worlds, it's nice, it, uh, actually, that's what I'm gonna put, it, it, it's nice, not one of my favorites, but yeah. Aurora Skies. I bought this the, first, the minute it came out, to be honest, because I was geeking or fangirling over the toddler type items. The playpen, I think it was, was it the, the walker that it came with? Um, <laughs> okay, like the toddler items it came with. But it was okay. Nothing groundbreaking. I mean, I, I liked the um, hot air balloon, even though it don't really go off the ground, but so much few feet. <laughs> uh, would have been nice if we actually went up into the sky and actually glided through the world. Like, like you could click a pathway like you do with your sims and go here and stuff like that with the balloon that would have been awesome but that didn't happen <laughs> and other than the toddler items in my opinion it, it, there's nothing really I mean it's pretty but there's nothing really keeping me there uh, me, I just re no I just realized did I just get I just mentioned that um, Lucky Palms was 30s Error. It's actually Roaring Heights, and the roller coaster and stuff came with Roaring, Roaring Heights. Okay, that's embarrassing. Anyway, <laughs> regardless, I love them both. Um, like I said, I, I love that kind of type, error type clothing, and I love the um, whole beautiful look of like you stepped out into the 1920s and 1930s time era in Roaring Heart Heights. I loved it. Nothing, I, I have nothing to complain about. So it's great. Dragon Valley. It's another one of those, <sighs> another one of those Barnacle Bay things. I used it once. Or I, I had a sim live there once. I used the dragon and the egg thingy about probably twice. And I hadn't really went back there. I mean, it's okay. <laughs> Not horrible. Um. Yeah. And last, ladies and gentlemen. And non-binary folks. Um, last but not least is Midnight Hollow. I love gothic type worlds, the gothic type era stuff, the spooky vibe it gives, and, and it's never really sunlighty in there. It's like, even during the daytime, it, you, it still has this air of blackness and darkness into it. And, and I like it. I mean, I like it. it and I love the CC that came with it. I mean, I loved it. I, I think, was it Midnight Hollow that had the toy maker and the, uh, like, the Lolita, um, dresses and stuff like that? And the hair. I loved it. So, I am going to put this in great. Wow! That actually went by faster than I thought it would go. <laughs> um... So, um, there you have it. I actually did not put anything in the horrible category or the ex Katy Perry sweet treats. I'm still not going to forget that. 
I can't believe they put that at the way bottom as it was, mm -mm, no. We, we are a Katy Perry stan. We, we do not, we do not dismiss or hate on Katy Perry's sweet treats in, on this channel. <laughs> okay, everybody. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I am planning sometime to do the Sims 2 ranking board thingy. <laughs> the tier list. And I'm planning to do, um, the first Sims. So, um, do me a favor. I hope you enjoyed. Well, that's not the favor, but do me a favor, if you can, um, leave a like and, um, a comment because it helps a lot with my teeny tiny channel. I am sitting here trying to, uh, try, I mean, my channel is all over the place, just uploading crazy amounts of random stuff, and I'm just trying to get out there, and I'm trying to make this work, so if you could be a dear and actually like and comment, and just, I really hope you enjoy, and if you could subscribe, that will help me tremendously, because for the past few weeks, um, YouTube has been purging my subs, I, I stick around the 32 to 35, uh, amount. I mean, sometimes I get up to probably 38, but then YouTube randomly removes them. So, it, it's hard out here. It is hard. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope, um, I hope to see you in the next video, and have a great night, and hope for a better tomorrow. Thank you, everybody.